Hi guys, and welcome back to WP Data Table Tutorials. So as you probably saw, the 5.0 update is finally here with a lot of great new and exciting new uh, features. We're going to show you one by one how each of those features work in our separate tutorials. But today we are covering the first feature for updating manual tables. More specifically, we are going to show you how you can replace rows from a data source. And without further ado, let's just dive right in. OK, um, <clears throat> so we're updating a manual table. Uh, in order to create a manual table from an existing source, as you guys know, you need to import the data. Uh, don't mix this with the link table. This is actually linked to an existing source. Well, to create a table in the database, you need to import it. The file that we're going to import is downloadable here in the creating tables showing data from Excel files by clicking on this link. Um, so we need to choose this file and upload it. Uh, let's see, dummy employees, here it is, open, and next. WP Data Tables offers uh, the uh, selection of the column types. This is correct, so integer, strings, dates, and so on, so we can continue with creating a manual table. Um, now, as a manual table, this is saved in the database, which you can check here. This is the database name. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to replace these rows with a new, with the rows of a new file. Um, here's the file. And the only thing that you should uh, be wary of is that the file needs to have the same number of columns. And those columns have need to have the same uh, headers. So they all need to be the same as this origin header in here. Uh, since this is basically the same file, we've just replaced these names and uh, deleted the uh, remaining seven rows. So this is the file that we're going to use. Here we select the option to replace rows with the source data. And to do that, we need to go into uh, this file right here and click on choose file. Once you click save changes, the plugin will warn you that you're about to replace all rows. So delete all the data you currently have in your table and replace it with the data from the file. We click on yes, save the table. And once the table refreshes, we will see the data from the source file that contains only three rows instead of the file that contains the 10 rows, which we use to create the manual table in the first place. Thank you, Alexander. That's You're great. Uh, and of course, this is very useful for those of you who are updating and changing your table outside of our plugin and you want to translate all those changes into WP data tables. Of course, if you have any questions or any other suggestions on what you want to see from us, please leave those down below in the comments. And while you're there, of course, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, guys. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye bye.